Hey guys, David here, and I've been asked a lot about my chair and whether I still use the IKEA Marcus. And the quick answer is yes, but it's not perfect. You can check out my full review on the chair in my other video, and I also have this other generic chair that was a freebie, but it also has its issues. Why? Well, that's what I want to cover in this video, so you know exactly what I look for in the perfect task chair for the office. So let's start with probably the most overlooked, but actually one of the more important features, the seat pan depth. When you sit with your back flush against the chair, your legs should hang over the edge, leaving roughly two to three inches of space between the seat edge and the back of your knees. If the seat pan's too short, your legs don't get the proper support. And if it's too deep, the seat will pinch the back of your legs, cutting off circulation. Some cheaper chairs will have limited seat pan adjustments like this knob here, Higher end chairs will usually have more adjustments for this, but the IKEA Marcus doesn't have any, so it's not great for everybody. Next, let's look at seat height, and this is pretty standard on most chairs, from cheap to expensive. You'll want to set your chair low enough so that your feet are firmly supported by the floor, and also so that your arms are high enough, so your forearms are roughly parallel or slightly downwards with the table, while keeping your elbows close to your body. This does sometimes mean that you'll need a footrest if your table's too high, or an adjustable desk like my IKEA Vacant, so I can adjust it down to proper levels. Armrests are another thing I find pretty important, especially if you're sitting for long periods of time. While not necessary for everyone, at least for me, I like to lean on something once in a while to take the weight off my back. The armrests on the IKEA Marcus don't move, and are a little too low for me to lean on sometimes. Most other office chairs, like my generic one, at least have height adjustable armrests, but I still have a problem with these. I like to bring my chair really far forward, so my forearms are over the table, and I can keep my elbows close to my body, so I'm not reaching or hunching over. The issue with typical armrests is, even at the lowest setting, they can get in the way when I try to tuck my chair in. High-end chairs will sometimes have more adjustments, so you can move them back or to the side so you can avoid this problem. Or if you don't need them, you can usually remove the armrest entirely, like I did for both my IKEA Marcus and generic chair. Everything else I look for in a chair is pretty standard. Is the seat firm but comfortable? Check. Does the chair allow for the back to lean and lock into place when I want to change the position? Check. Is the lumbar support in the right position for my comfort? Pretty good. Do I need a high back or a headrest? I really like the option. Will it last for years to come? Only time will tell, but so far so good. So in the end, what is the perfect chair? Is the IKEA Marcus perfect for me? Not really, but it's decent for the price. If you can afford to spend $800 plus on a chair, you can look at the steel cased or Herman Miller chairs that are super customizable and are built to last with long warranties. And they're definitely worth it, especially if you're sitting for hours. But if you can't afford them, well, there are some cheaper options like buying used or considering models like the Allaire Illusion or Office Master OM5. These look interesting, but you often make sacrifices on adjustability, build quality, and warranty as you move down the price ladder. Or if you're lucky, the IKEA Marcus or some other cheap generic office chair could be perfect for you right out of the box. But in the end, you're gonna need to test them out in person and check for all the things that I mentioned, like seat pan depth, height, and arm adjustment to know what's best for you. Hopefully that helps you find your perfect office chair. You know what to do and I'll see you in the next video.